Okay, mitosis eggs. If you're hatching, I promised someone in the zoo I would show these eggs to them. I don't think we're hatching quite yet. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mitosis eggs are hatching. Well, a promise is a promise. I guess I'm gonna go find this fan in the zoo to show her some hatching eggs. Not that you can see much. All I can really see is one little slit, but it is technically hatching, so I'm gonna go show her these babies. Of course, it's like really busy in here today, but that's okay, more people get to see them. Oh, it's her birthday today too. No, no, no. A promise is a promise, they're hatching. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> You can't see much, but there is a slit right there, and you oh can see the goop. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's winter theme? It's the winter theme, <laughs> yep. These are mitosis eggs, so these are gonna be cute little hog noses. There might be some condas and maybe super condas in there too, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. That's the start though. Okay, it's uh, 10.30 at night. We just got done filming the Valentine's Day special. Yeah, we've been here for like plus a long 13 time. hours. Now. Oh my gosh, I see a head! Oh, oh sucking away! Oh, don't suck away! Oh. No, he's gone! Oh, that one's starting to hatch too. We've got two now. Yes, okay. Yes, we get to cut tomorrow morning. Yes, we do. Oh, so exciting! We're gonna be back tomorrow to cut those open. Okay, guys, it's been a day and a half or so, and we finally have a chance to see what babies are hatching from these eggs. So I haven't let's... seen any of these. Yet. No, I just looked through the lid and I saw something really exciting though. So what we are potentially going to see yeah, in these the eggs. The morphs based on the pairing, which the dad is questionable because we paired the mom to several males, but the mom is mitosis. She laid the surprise winter clutch of eggs a couple months ago in November. I think it was because then she, we couldn't roommate her and so she'd get is extra that meals. Eggs? That's these eggs. Okay. These are the mitosis winter themed eggs and we are expecting to get normals, condas, and if the dad is actually a conda, then we have the possibility of getting super condas too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see. If we get super condas, I will be really excited. And I already see something pretty exciting in the lid. Okay, well that tells me exactly what I need now. Let's take a look, oh my gosh, okay. Here we go, yeah, laid on November 29th from That's mitosis. So it's, I don't know why she laid eggs so late in the year, but. I mean, we're gonna get that more and more because we are gonna purposely breed them that way. Throughout the year, yeah. yeah. Okay, ready, three, two, one. <gasps> oh my goodness, there he is. <laughs> Yes! Uh, so that means dad was a conda as well, so we've got a super Do we have a super no or conda and normal all out right that now? That looks like a conda to me. Yes, let's take a look. Can you come out of your egg a little bit? Do you have come a- Come out of your shell? You can not come out of your shell? He's sucking back in, but I think that is a conda. So yeah, I think nice. we have a normal, a conda, and a super conda. So he got the conda gene, or she, from both parents. So then we're left with- oh. Three that have cut and one that hasn't? Yeah, and actually this egg was the really big egg. I wasn't sure if that one was gonna hatch. But not oh, only did perfect. it hatch, it's a super conda. Oh. Okay, I see something also very cute. I'm gonna turn this around. Oh, there's a hog nose nose. There he is, he's so cute. Okay, so I think we've got a peek and just kind of see if we can tell what morph you are. Oh, there goes the nose. Yeah, he tucked in. Oh, I see some. Oh wait, no, that's just his head stamp. That's not spots. You still I could- see spots on this side. You do see spots? Yeah, he's oh, yeah. normal. Oh yeah, looking through the shell. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're a normal, got it. How about this baby? You also pipped on your own, good oh, job. I think I see a black belly there, but- Oh yeah, look at that right there. We've got a black belly with white walls on the side, so it's at least a conda. So we're gonna look through the side. Oh yep, I see spots. So it's a conda. So it's a regular old conda. Regular conda, not a super conda. Which would make sense, because it should be one in- One in four. One in four, one in four. Two and four. Yep, that's true. So ratio, you know, it's kind of on par to for so what we were expecting. Hopefully, that's a super conda. Yeah, let's hope. Then this the ratios are way off. But the last egg. Let's see if you are a normal, a conda, or a super conda. This was the snowflake egg. Oh, so he's <gasps> gonna be special. Oh, he's gonna be special. The goop looks good. It's nice and clear. A little light yellow. That's fine. Okay, these eggs deflate really fast. So I'm gonna try to cut a big hole before it deflates too much. And now we're gonna open the flap, come on. What are you? Oh, I see some spots. Yeah, I think that's a normal. Oh, yep, I think you're right. You can see it on camera too. I thought I saw it for a second there, but 
see if I can get a better view for the camera. And the red there, the blood, that is normal. That's just nicking one of the veins on the underside of the shell. So it's not the baby's blood, oh, don't yeah, worry. Spots. Oh yeah, definitely some spots there. I think that's a normal. Wow, so we kinda hit the bad odds. We did, we, well, I mean, okay, if the bad, bad odds would be no supercondas. That's true. We still got a superconda here. A super, yes. two condas, and three normals. Yeah, weird, we should. Yeah. Huh, with six eggs, we should have had three condas and. Two normals, one super. Yeah, or, but, yeah, anyway, that's uh, uh, genetics. somewhat odd odds, but that's okay, we will take it. So what we're gonna do is put them back for now and check on them tomorrow when they're hopefully out of their eggs. Winter babies, oh my gosh, I still can't believe we have winter hognoses or babies hatching in January, it's bonkers. But now all the babies should be out of the eggs, so we will finally get a, a total on yeah. what morphs we have from this clutch. So let's take a look. Mitosis is babies. Oh my goodness. We don't know who the dad is. We do know because, oh, look at them all. Since we have a super conda, that means the dad is bruh. Yeah, because she was paired with Jester, who's a normal, and bruh, who's a conda. Uh -huh. And since she's a conda, we got a super, that means bruh was the dad. So yeah, we had the super. We knew we had that one. We have, looks like there's a normal. Normal. Here's a normal. Ooh, this one has like cool, like dark outlines to its splotches. Oh, yeah, That's really pretty. And then over here in a big pile, we've got. Whoop! Sorry, didn't mean to flip you over. How many eggs did we have? Uh, six eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs. Okay. And it looks like they've all hatched because I can see just empty eggshells here. That is a really pretty conda. Yeah, I love the faded pattern. Down yeah. The stack. Yeah, that's really pretty. We have some escapees here. And then in this pile, we have, let's see, normal, normal. Oh, we, okay, so we have three normals, conda, super, and here's the sixth one, which is that other conda. Fully out of the egg now. Look at, the, wow, that one's really pretty too, actually. Mm -hmm. That is kind of a hey, cool. I have to do a check. Pull that one back. Okay. Just making sure we didn't get any twins. Oh, we didn't get any oh, twins. Oh, no twins. No twins. Good check though, just in case. Yep. Oh, just stick them all in your hand. Okay, I haven't held a handful of babies in a little while. Boop. Yay, look at them all. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, but the big question is, is the super a boy or a girl? If it's a girl, we might have to keep it. It is, oh, it's a boy. It's a boy. All right, so we don't need to keep them, but that's a good thing. We don't Where need to. Oh, the condas? Oh yeah, because this one's gorgeous. Okay, if this one's a girl, we've got to keep it. It is, oh, that's that a, girl. a girl. Oh my gosh, Ooh, okay. How about you? Are you a boy or a girl? Oh my gosh, yeah, you have a super long tail. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Why is your tail so long? Here, I'm yeah. gonna compare Endowed you. Endowed man. Yeah, really? You're gonna get all the ladies. Size doesn't matter, Emily. Oh, it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the difference between those two tails. Oh. Wow, why does that one have such a long tail? That's crazy. It's very well endowed. I guess. Okay, so that means we are keeping one of those condas. Yep. I don't think we need to keep the others though. No. We'll only keep the condo, of course, if it's a good eater. He's got a cool three spot on his back. Oh, cool. <laughs> kind of looks like a face. It does. Your yeah, face is made of three dots. Yeah. Yeah, I love how many spots this one has. These guys are definitely trying to escape. Yeah, they are definitely trying to get out. So let's get their baby bins ready. What we're gonna do is, let's see, we've got six babies. Let's do two, two, and two. Since baby hogs do eat better if they're with another hatchling. And then we can do a conda with a normal and a super conda with a normal. Perfect, then we can tell them apart for the feeding records. Yep. That works out great, okay. Wow, January baby bins. January, first of the year. First babies of the yeah, year, you're right. Of the year. Oh, it's okay. not some weird thing. Yeah. We've got paper towels. What was, what was our first last year? Was it mangroves? The mangroves were the first okay, babies last year. Yeah. I like these where it's three bin setups. Yeah. Not this is, 20 bin setups. This is a lot easier. Got our caves for the back half, which is the heated end. Shout out to Bavarium Electronics. Yeah. It's we, their bins, their hides. Huh, yeah, you're and right. And then a bunch of decor. Yep. We've got and our little water, water dishes from Menards. <laughs> yeah, right. Our little PVC caps. They fit so perfectly though. Yeah, they do. And a rock to rub up against when they shed. Do those stickers come off? Those okay, stickers come off. Okay. Ah, sweet. Yeah, these are brand new caves because we moved all of our other caves to the new snake house. Oh. Do we have to steal those from retail then? Yes. Did we write them off? They were already in back, so I'm hoping they're already written off. Fingers are crossed. Oh, well, and we wonder why our counts are off when we do counts. <laughs> uh, actually, I think that's enough. I don't want to crowd it too much. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's uh, throw them on in. Okay. So then to keep them separate, so the feeding charts make sense, we're gonna do a normal in each. They're so tiny. Well, that okay. one's full of perlite. Oh, you can 
chill with the super conda. You can chill with the conda. And you, last but not least, can chill with this little conda that we are keeping. I dig through that really quick. Make sure there's no twins. Any twins? 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 Nope, no twins. Lame. Sorry. But they all hatched. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Aww. Small clutch. Well, there were originally eight eggs, okay. but since we weren't expecting these eggs, we didn't see them right away. That's true. So the two she laid, Mitosis, who isn't here because she's at our snake house now, sure. so she laid two eggs on the warm end, and those just became too dehydrated to bring back, essentially, oh, okay. once we did find them and remove them. But the remaining six eggs all plumped back up, they became rehydrated, and they made it full term. Yep. Now we have six beautiful little hognose snakes to enter the world. Oh my god. They're all sitting completely still. They're doing that, if I don't move, I don't die thing. <laughs> right. Look at you, little super. We have a little super conda baby. Oh, a little surprise super conda. I love it. All right, let's put these babies in the baby rack. All right, I'll give them some water after we film. All right, we're gonna tuck them in. We have some leftover babies from the breeding season, which, I don't know, they consist of variable, variable kings. kings. We've got some... Corn snakes. What do we eat? Corn. Oh, that's right. Moonstone. Yep, Moonstone's babies. So we just need some space up front to open up. We also need variable or more variable kings. Oh, yep. Tucked in so there. So if anybody wants variable kings, you know, yep. come to oh, the store. Oh, we, we have a scaleless. Scaleless still from last breeding Aww, season. Hey, little dude. But considering this entire tower was full of babies. It's true. And another two racks were yeah. full of babies. That isn't too bad, yeah, actually. We've, we've moved most of our stuff out. Yeah, it's not. Not too many. So I'm gonna put these in and our next step for these baby hawk noses is to essentially just get them eating rodents so that they are ready for their new homes. And once they eat enough meals, which for us is about five-ish meals, then we will be offering them for sale, which we do already have a wait list. They're probably already gonna be claimed or we're gonna have some just sold in store. Yeah. Um, so you have to go do meet and greet. I do have to do meet and greet. So I'm gonna go take off to do that and then I'll be right back and we'll wrap up this video. So the reason why I asked you to turn on the camera yep. is because this guy was just playing dead. Aww. But he came back to life. Oh, uh, oh he's a vampire snake. He did, yes, he's a zombie. Or no, that would be a vampire, wouldn't it? He I don't know. Zombies come back from the dead too, so. So I did meet and greet, and I met some really uh, nice people out there. And so I was like, you know what? Her dream you snake. Yeah, yeah. She wanted a hog nose, so I'm like, I can bring out a baby hog nose that just hatched. So I brought this little dude out, and then he played dead in my hand, and we all got pictures. So here he is, playing dead in the zoo just oh now. Oh my goodness. Yes, he was very dramatic. Oh, look at him, he's dying so hard. He died, oh. Oh, now he's deaded. So deaded. <laughs> <laughs> so I was hoping he'd still be dead as I walked back, but he came back Aww. to life. So this guy's a little drama queen. A vampire. So I guess with that, we're gonna wrap up today's video of our surprise clutch a of baby. January clutch of God, that's so weird. We have babies this early in the year. Oh my gosh, I'm very proud of Mitosis, who's doing very well, by the way. Yep, she's eating like a champ. Yep, yep, no crash after clutching or anything. She yep. is fantastic. And now we have more baby hog noses. Oh, oh my gosh. Start See? of the 2024 breeding season. Oh my gosh, our snakes aren't even out of brumation yet. <laughs> they're halfway through brumation right now. Yeah. So they're all asleep in the cold. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. It was great meeting the ones who I did in the zoo today. You know who you are if you got to see the hognose playing dead today. Um, thank you, everybody, for all the support. And welcome to the world, baby hognoses. 2024 breeding season starts early.